What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nasher. Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get into today's video, guys, we are now officially seven. Seven subs away from 200. I know we can do it, guys. We are getting so, so close to the goal of 200 subs. All we need are seven people to subscribe to this channel and we will have officially hit 200 subs. And when that time comes, I will open up this Korean Strike of Neos booster box in its entirety on the channel on the hopes to, to potentially pull this guy right here, Elemental Hero Air Neos, the so-called Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Is it really forbidden? I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Now if this channel gets to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from, from my partners over at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By, by checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to potentially pull a blue a blue eyes white dragon, a dark magician, a red eyes black dragon, a piece of exodia, monster reborn, pot of greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners at Collector Store on the hopes to, poten to potentially pull my second ever Collector's Rare. Cause it, cause it wouldn't, cause it wouldn't be the first time that I pulled pulled a Collector's Rare out of out of one of those sets. Cause I also pulled this. A collector's rare beat cop from the underworld, freshly fresh from my Genesis Impact box opening from several months ago. Judging by by the centering and how it looks, it has the potential to be a PSA 10. So maybe, who knows? But with that being said, with that being said, you guys. If you guys want to see these boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you, maybe you guys want more episodes of of w, of Yu-Gi-Oh's. Sorry, WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh's Biggest Issue. There, I got my words mixed up. Um, um, deck deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe just maybe you guys want some premium live event, live events predictions and results well if you guys want all of that and more my channel is the place to be so if you guys are new to the channel and i know that and i know that a lot of you guys are make sure make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell follow me on all of my social media my ads will be in the description below as will the info to my fan mail it will also be in the description as well and si and since we are on the topic of my partners at collector store today's video i got something different for for you guys today yeah you guys see it i am going to open up another box of of legendary of of legendary duelist duels from the deep this is i wouldn't say it's a popular set but it does have it does have some really really in really in incredible cards including the ghost rare number 101 silent honor arc and the ultra rare forbidden droplet which droplet i actually pulled out of my first box opening so hopefully we can pull pull another one maybe we might pull the ghost rare but with that being said guys let's get straight into it so obviously there's a lot there is a whole lot to talk about today, including including everything that's been going on in the world of of Yu-Gi-Oh, including the fact that we just had worlds in um in Japan and history was made. First time that uh, that someone from from the U.S. actually won worlds, which is incredible, absolutely incredible. And I'm taking the packs out of the box. Throw the box over there. And let me count to make sure that we have 36 packs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10. 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 36 packs. Okay. We are good to go. I do have, have the packs right here on top of my laptop because I don't have anywhere else to put them, unfortunately. But, but with that being said, guys, let's get straight. Let's get straight into it with our first pack. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, con congrats to uh, what was his name? I don't remember his name. I, I, you know what? I want to look look up his name, but um, someone from here in in the U.S. actually won world. So, big shout outs to him. History was indeed made. And uh, oh, 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 that, that was the rare sea stealth too. That was our first rare. Um, oh. Okay, ultra rare. Marie says coral triangle. Very nice. Very nice. And and a buzzsaw shark. Um, so shout outs to him. I mean that was incredible. Um, incredible weekend. I think. Uh, I think now now the question becomes: What cards are we gonna see? What cards are we gonna see get get um, hit on the ban list? Because there's a there are so many different cards that. I feel like should definitely should definitely get hit, but this is in no way, shape, shape, or form a banless prediction video, if you will. Um, I'm just like being optimistic, I, I guess, because you look at the ban list and there are so many cards that I feel like should be should be taken off the list, such as the Dragon Rulers. Dragon Rulers, um, back in back in the day, actually, okay. Okay, so there was nothing. No, there was nothing in. There was not nothing in that pack. Um. Um. You you know you, you know the dragon rules. You know you know you know Konami has <clears throat> slowly been um been taking taking the dragon rules off off the ban list, which could mean dragon rules might come back into in into the format, which I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind if if the dragon rulers came off came off the list reason being is because when 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 the dragon rules was first revealed back all the way back in uh what was it lord of the tachyon tachyon galaxy they dominated the meta for the latter part of almost a year and it became arguably oh nice nice a rare marine cir cir uh, circulation and ooh, there we go there we go, super rare red hand. Very nice, very nice reprint. I think that was a jump. I think that was a YCS promo, if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, anyway, Dragon Rules dominated the meta for like well over for like almost a year, and then once Konami realized how dangerous how how, da how dangerous they were, they immediately went 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 ahead and started to ban not ban but but limit um what was it the baby. Excuse me, the baby dragon rulers, and then they eventually just hit hit the deck completely. Once we got into um, what was it? Sets like uh, Judgment of the Light, Sh uh, Shadow Specters, and whatnot. Once we got in into those sets, Konami just hit hit the deck real hard. So it's possible that Konami could potentially bring bring that deck back, but only time will tell. But another thing that I also want to talk about is SummerSlam from this past Saturday and what a weekend what a summer slam we had it was absolutely incre in absolutely incredible getting the chance to see Logan Paul wow second one second forbidden droplet holy shit holy fucking shit guys another forbidden droplet that is beautiful that is beautiful wow all we need now is I think I think the Ghost Rider and, and I think we're set. Although to be fair, I am still missing quite a, quite, quite a few cards for for my for my Shark Deck. Which, by the way, update Shark Deck profile update coming this weekend. Get ready for that. But um, wow, second second droplet, incredible. But anyway, but anyway, um, anyway, getting to getting the chance to see Logan Paul compete in a WWE ring is. Is it? Ooh, electric jellyfish! Another super, very nice. 
it's it's always a treat. It's always a a treat to see a guy a guy like Logan Paul compete in a WWE ring just because of the fact that he's has become he's he's already become arguably one of the create one of the I wouldn't say one of the best heel heels we had. Wow, double fin shark, nice, nice rare. And okay, another. Um, he's become probably one of the most popular heels I, I would say in in WWE, aside from aside from Gunter and Roman Reigns. Logan Paul has become such a very popular heel, and what I find unique about him is the fact that he's always been himself, if you will. And, oh, nice. Mega Fortress Whale. That's actually a, a, a really good one. It's a play on of, um, of the original Fortress Whale, which is pretty cool. And a number 71 Barbarian Shark. Nice. Um, you know, and his match with... His match with with Ricochet, I think, just proves how good Ricochet truly is, but it also showcased how good um, how good Logan is in the ring. And what I find so unique is that is that this was a match that that Ricochet needed to win. Logan did not did not need need to win. He didn't need to win the match. It was Ricochet that needed to win because by because by defeating Logan Paul, not only would it establish, not only would he be established as a top superstar on Raw, but it would also mean that he would be able to get get an opportunity to challenge for for championship gold in the foreseeable future. As far as what titles he he could go after, as I mean, for all we know, he could go he could go after Seth freaking Rollins and the World Heavyweight Title. Or if he wanted to, he could probably he could potentially go after you know Gunther and the Intercontinental Title. The possibilities are out there, but I do want to bring up as well Jimmy Uso. I think um, here's here, here's what bog boggles my mind as we get into our next pack. Um, what I'm curious about is why Jimmy did what he did. That right there is the big question that I'm sure. Another fortress whale. Are you fucking kidding me? This 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 ultra rare could have been could have been a fucking abyss shark. Which I which actually I need three of of abyss and three crystals. So I might have to get 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 into the box. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway. Anyway. What bought here here's what I'm curious about. Why did Jimmy do what he did? What 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 were his motives? Me personally, I think it has has everything to do with Paul Heyman. I think Paul is trying to once again he's trying to split a wedge from within the USO. Again, case in point, this could have been a fucking crystal shark, a, f a fucking crystal shark. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, I think he's he's trying to split a wedge from within from within the USOs and get Jimmy USO to rejoin the bloodline. I think. At this point right now, I think the bloodline has has just gone stale. The bloodline the bloodline story it's getting it's getting to a point now where it's it's going it, it, it's going stale and I think it needs to it needs to end one way or another. I think the best way to end it I think will probably have have to be um have, have to be Roman Ro Roman dropping the title to someone and just ending his Drop the card, and just just end end the rain, end it, just end it. I think it's just, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in, in the comments. I'm curious of, of what you guys have have to say about this whole thing with the bloodline and the Usos. I'm very curious of, of what you guys have to say. I will say this. Ooh, okay, Nash Knight, very nice. I think. I, I think I have both already. So so that's cool. Um I'm very curious I'm very curious of what you guys have, have to say, but other than that, um I, other than other than that, SummerSlam was awesome. We we have a brand new WWE women's champion in none other than EO Sky. 
There's also the fact that uh, Seth freaking Rollins has finally silenced uh, Finn, Finn Balor once and for all. I'm honestly impressed with Seth's reign as, as the World Heavyweight Champion. I think his run, no matter what, no matter who wins the title next, Seth's, Seth's title run will definitely go down in history as arguably as arguably one of the best runs he's ever had in in a very long time. Even though even though he's only been champion for like for like 2 months or or, or something, it's it's going to be a dominant reign, reign. I can guarantee I can guarantee you that. But but with that, with that being said, there are so many other like Yu-Gi-Oh sets. Going back to Yu-Gi-Oh, there's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh sets that are, that are, that will be coming out real soon. Obvi obviously, obviously, we have another legendary duelist in the form of um, what is it, Soul Soul Burning Volcano. I'll definitely be be getting getting at least a I'll definitely be getting a box or two of that set just because of the fact that the Battle of Boxers are. Are are getting are getting are getting new supports as well as the um, as well as uh, uh, volcanics. Volcanics are getting more are going to be getting more support. Which, to be fair, it's it's become quite the meme, if you will, of volcanics getting support. And I think if you look if you look at the at the volcanics, ooh, Marie says spring spring girl. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Could have been another. Could have been a crystal shark, but who knows? Um, how many packs do we have? Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve packs, you guys. There are twelve packs. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve packs left. Um, let's just get into these last twelve packs. Um, obviously we, obviously and and as well. Since we're on the topic of 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 ghost rares, there's also the the ghost rare. What was it? Sunlight Wolf. I, I think is getting reprinted as a ghost rare. So that's a bit of a stretch. I feel like I feel like what they could have done was was they they could have done um like they they could have done like volcanic doom fire perhaps as as the ghost rare or or they could have done. Uh, Battle of Boxer uh, Star Cestus as the rare, which I think that probably would have been the better. I think that prob probably probably would have been better in my in my personal opinion, just because of the fact that Vol Volcanic Dew Fire. I think what was it? Uh, Force of the Breaker was the set. Um, that was the set that basically introduced us to the um, that that literally introduced us to. The as we get a rare bubble ring. Okay, um, it introduced us to the volcanics, and yeah, it's true that over time, yes, we did get get support for them. But to be fair, to be fair, it, we would only get like one card, and that was it. We would only get one card. There, there's the Chaos Exceeds Nash Knight. Okay, okay. Funny enough, this can actually help you summon um. Either silent, either silent on our, silent on our arc, or or Ragnar Zero, which is uh, actually pretty funny. Um, but but again, again, we didn't truly get like the f like full support until this set came out. Do I believe that it could have been been released in a in in like a like in a structure deck or something? Absolutely, I truly believe that. Volcanics should have gotten their own structure deck as we get a, a Marisa's Aqua Argonaut, which I don't think I ever pulled that one in, in my last opening. Um, again, again, it could have been in a in, in a structure deck, which would have made a lot more sense, but it is it, it is what it is. But not only that, we also got the tins coming out as well, which which will be which will be fun. Um, I am planning on planning planning to get at least three if I'm able to. I might be able to get four and keep and open like 
like one or two and keep keep the rest sealed just because of the fact that the tins can age pretty well over time and the value can actually go up which is pretty awesome um which is pretty awesome as we are now down to the last five packs still haven't pulled a ghost rare hopefully we do hopefully we will in these last four in these last five packs but we will see but again 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 the tins they can age very well over time barry barry's chaos draw is the other super i think we're due for one more ultra i think hold on let me let, let me check the I think we're probably. I, I think. I think we're due for one more ultra, and I think maybe two, one or two more supers. So we'll see. But yeah, again, 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 the tins they can age pretty. They can age so well over time. It's impressive. You know, look. You know, look at the 2019 tins that I that I got. Um, you know, you know the 2019 tins. Um, you know, you know a lot of people might not might not like them. Because of the fact that, like, 60%, 70%, 80%, or whatever of, of, of the cards in the set aren't playable anymore. The What matters the most with those tins is the promos. The promos is where, is where everything becomes more valuable, you know? You got cards, card, you, you got cards like Nibiru, you got cards like Dimension Shift, or cards like, um... Uh, Dark Ruler no more. You got so many uh, other cards that are so good in, in today's meta. They're still being played. Even also, uh, uh, the other new promos, the, the ones that were hand-painted by by, um, by Kazuki Takahashi. You know, th those cards are still being played in today's meta. Cards like cards like Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Cards like Palladium Oracle Mana. Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. Those cards are still being played in today's meta which is still good that's why that's why i prefer to keep my tin sealed and and only open them when i want to is because they age so well over time but but with that being said guys we are now down to the last two packs let's see what what we can end with hopefully we can finally pull the ghost rare but only but we will see all right so we got seahorse we have crystal and amone for our rare we have Blue Tang, which is still weird as a common. Wonder Heart, and it looks like, nope, nothing, Luxury Fisherman. All right, you guys, last pack. Let's see what, what we can end off with. Hopefully, we pull the Ghost Rare, but I think we've gotten all of our Hollows, honestly, but we'll see. We have Torrential Tribute. We have a rare, uh, Kuryo Shin's Dark Reef. Very nice. We have Xyz Remora. Okay, I'm gonna go backwards here. Okay, so we have we have Lemuria, the Forgotten City, and oh my God, did we? Did we? Did we? Oh come on! Are you fucking kidding me? I saw the water attribute. I thought it was the fucking ghost rare. Oh my god. You know what? I'll take it. Another another Chaos Sixties Nash Knight. Honestly, I'm not su I'm not surprised that we that we would pull it. But here's a recap of all the hulls we pulled. Here's a re recap of, of all the hulls we pulled. Chaos Chaos Nash Knight. Just absolutely incredible pulls, I must admit. Especially once we get to it, of course. The one, the only, second forbidden droplet. Obviously, a really excellent reprint. I can't, I'm, I can't, I can't, I, I can't complain. But I will be getting another box of of this set at this at some point. I might resort to buying a case and just open them up and just and just keep opening them up, opening them up until I pull pull one, but. Who knows? But with that being said, guys, that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more 
pack openings in the future, which again, do not happen often, but it is a rare occurrence. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.